to get all the way out here, at least go ahead and make sure it happens. Peace, God. Peace to the God. Peace to the earth. Yeah, man. Peace to God. Peace to the earth and all of the righteous families of the planet. And I want to welcome everybody tuning in at 360 Mad Nubian TV, man. We want to touch on this topic today, man. Um, I was building with this earth online, man. You know, it's a new earth. I was building with her. And, uh, you know, she was coming into the knowledge and stuff. She was like, what would be some good books to read and stuff? You know, like you always told me, and most of the older guys, you know, on Waukeel side and all, you always told me, it's best to go back to the roots. So I told her, you know, go back to the roots, you know, read like Elijah Muhammad books, you know, uh, read uh, books from Brother Waukeel and them, because they, they, they are brothers that stick to the root. So I happened so, to find one of his book, his book covers, in the name of Allah, one of his book covers he had wrote, and I had messaged it. I mean, I think I had posted it to her on her page. Mm-hmm. Within the group of the nation of guys on earth for the girl to see this is the book to read. And one of the earths on there said, That's not a good book to read. It's straight swine, it's straight poison. You know, trying to <laughs> mislead the other one that's coming into knowledge, mislead her and get her off her path of going, you know what I'm saying, standing in the root teachings. So, what is your take on people that's trying to pull people off the righteous path and pull them into their way of teaching? <laughs> on the original that's, that that's crazy i had did a bill um i think it was like a few months ago i had did a bill it was me and um another god um oh man i can't even call the god's name right now but it, it's this on my channel you know i was on the road or whatever and i had bumped into the god you know we supposed to have you know uh linked up with brother wakil and um couple of the other brothers and we were supposed to do a little bill but he was it's funny you say that because he told me like a similar story about somebody and they had you know his book and they was like oh man that's straight swine right there don't read that book that's poison you know what i'm saying yeah. and you know and i was asking him i was like you know did the brother did he say anything about why did he give a general statement about why What's the his book? book is poison mm-hmm. He was like, he's like, nah, you know, he didn't. He was just telling everybody, don't read it because it's poison. And I'm like, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's that's, you know, like if if you don't want somebody to read something, then obviously you got a reason, a good valid reason yeah. why. And I'm gonna go down the line with you and name all of the reasons why you shouldn't be reading this book. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If a person, if an individual is a newborn, and I'm there in Lightner or whatever, and I'm like. You know, they show me the book and I'm like, oh, no, no, that's not, you know, good. Like, say, for instance, perfect example, one of Dr. York's books, you know, one of a newborn whip out a Dr. York scroll mm-hmm. and be like, yo, you know how Dr. York back in the days did yeah. several books about the five percenters and stuff like that, which is for the most part now cipher, a lot of them, a lot of that information. But I'm going to go through the book. I'm going to tell my newborn, no, don't read that. That's poison. And then I'm going to get the book and I'm going to go through it with him and be like, look, see, see what he said right there? See, and da 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 and see, boom, now look what this says. Yeah, you're going to break it down. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna give it, I'm not just going to be like, oh, don't read that book, it's poison. You're going to show and prove why you shouldn't read that book. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. No five percenters can take Waquil's book in the name of Allah and have been able to show and prove till this day. That book is over 10 years old, God. The God did that book back in what, 2007, 2008, I want to say, give or take. Mm-hmm. But nobody within the nation of gods and earths have been able to take that book yet, dissect it, and show us everything in there that is emphatically now cipher. Nobody's able to do that yet, God. It's just I'm listening to what you say. You and your your mind lightness, so I'm gonna listen to what you say. You say don't read it, okay? I ain't gonna read it. 
I mean, what kind of teaching is that? You know? So, yeah, it's just funny you say that, man. Like I said, the other brother had a similar story, man. Same thing. People over, yo, that's poison. That's poison. Stay away from it. You know? And, but they don't ever tell you why. Yeah. Why? Why? You know, they, you know? <laughs> they don't want you to come into the true knowledge of what's, what, you know what I mean? They don't want you to come yeah. into that true knowledge of what they're trying to reject. You know exactly. what I'm saying? If it's something they're trying to reject, they don't want you to be exposed to it because then you will know. You know what I mean? That that newborn will know. Be like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'll start having questions. But if I can keep them away from that truth, they won't have no questions at all. They just follow my lead. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But somebody who's exactly. who, who go through the root teachers going to be like, hold up. Y'all talking about this, but this, you know, the father... He was taught this from Elijah, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So why is y'all talking about he teaching this and teaching? You know what I mean? You can start breaking it down. What's being taught if you go back to the roots? But if they be like, if I can keep these new guys and these new earth away from the roots, I can right. keep their mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? In the way right. that most of their minds are. Yeah, oh, and the, and the thing is, you know, sometimes you know you may have newborns that automatically drift back to the root. Why? Because the lessons you're giving them, remember, the lessons you're giving them are called lost, found, Muslim lessons. lessons. Yes. Right? And in there, it says in numerous places that the black man, his own self is a righteous Muslim. You know, the original nation is a nation of, of, of uh, approximately a little over 17 million Muslims, original Muslims. You know, like, Muslim is used all through the through the degrees. So a lot of times you may get a newborn and they may end up, if you're not with them, you know, helping them study and going through certain things with them or explaining certain things to them, then naturally they're going to drift into the direction of, oh, I'm supposed to be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm supposed to be, you know. I'm supposed to be God too. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be righteous at the same time. God, but at the same time, I'm a Muslim too. Like, Every newborn, for the most part, I'm not going to say every newborn, but I would go so far as to say 80% of newborns that read the 5% the, 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 uh, of the teaching, mm -hmm. this is what they're led to believe. This is what they're led to think. Not the supreme alphabet, the supreme mathematics, but once they get to the actual lessons, yeah, the lessons. student enrollment, the 1 to 10, the, English the, the 1 to 36, the rise, you know what I'm saying? Once they start getting into those lessons, then it's almost hard for you to, you know what I'm saying, convince them that they're not Muslims. Mm -hmm. You know, this is one of the reasons why after the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad departed from us, you, you see a lot of brothers turn to Sunni Orthodox Islam. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them went into that direction for the simple fact that, you know, the manipulators were able to tell them, hey, you know, look, look. We ain't no gods. We ain't no gods. We just Muslims. That's it. Can't you see? This is what Elijah Muhammad and Fahd Muhammad was trying to bring us towards being Muslims. But what they gave us is just a wake up. It's, it, it's not real Islam. It's just a wake up call. That's it. The real Islam is the Al Islam that's taught over in the East with the Arabs. And that's what we, they wanted us to go towards. So they're able to manipulate people in that way and bring them from the God consciousness mm -hmm. of it into a more religious understanding yeah. of, of, you know what I'm saying, the teachings. So people are manipulated every day. Newborns are manipulated every day. You know what I'm saying? You know. And see, that's what drove me to your teachings because when I was seeing your teachings, I can see that. Because see, when I listened to most of the guys, when I started off with my knowledge, I would see how they would never mention anything about the nation of Islam. You would never hear them talk too much about the roots or uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, WF Muhammad. You never hear, really too much hear them talk about these individuals. May peace be upon them. Uh, when I started reading some of your teachers, I was like, he, he's a god, but he's going back to the roots. You know what I'm saying? So I started using my own understanding and be like, just like you said, what's best? The person that goes to the roots teachings or somebody who's teaching some grafted stuff? What is grafted? You know what I mean? It's not it's not natural. So I'm like that does make sense. It says what is devil? Devil is what? The grafted anything grafted from this original state. 
You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So the lessons that their gods and earth is teaching to some of them newborns that ain't originals or devil teachers. You didn't grafted them. You know what I'm saying? That's why some of them think that 